During World War II, the southwest coast was considered vulnerable to invasion, and so there were coastal defences put up. A lot of them were these small pillboxes, like the one behind me, no more than 10 foot in diameter, where men would be stationed with machine guns pointing out to sea to uh, obviously attack any enemy that tried to invade. So we're going to go and have a look at this one. This is the most complete one that I've seen. Made of the pebbles that are from the beach. I imagine they were a good building material but also good camouflage. Now these have been left to decay. This is the most complete one that I've seen. A lot of them are um, half filled with rocks now and you can't get into them but this one you can still get in and walk around. It's a very simple structure. I think we have, so we have one, two, three, four, five, sea facing windows and you can see each window is just a slit you know, this isn't a very large window it's just for the guns to be able to be pointed through obviously there'd be no glass it's quite windy in here this is a nice summer's day but it would have been a bit cold in here in the uh, in the depths of winter and uh, I imagine these are for putting the machine gun legs into and you had multiple of these stations so they're each looking out to different parts. Now the beach is, um, <laughs> is built up over time so we're, you can't actually see the sea, it is just over the top of that bank of rocks that pebbles there. See how thick the walls are, just made of concrete, the local pebbles off the beach and red brick. <laughs> 